you know, it's been a crazy year um, for the, the last 12 months. The I suppose the most important thing that, that stands out for me is the Vegas TV show that we did. It was not only the biggest challenge, but definitely the biggest achievement. And, and I mean that for the entire team that make the TV show. It was about two, two and a half years of ideas and work. And for it to come to fruition was just such a big deal for us. And its performance was one of the best shows that we've, that we've ever made. Well, <laughs> do you know, I'm in Las Vegas quite a lot for events and so I'm probably over four or five times a year anyway and I have resolved to never ever play roulette again and the reason for that is that there is a chance that I could get into the sticky presumption that I could repeat it but the truth is the fact that it did work um, although of course I knew what I was doing I knew that it could work I wasn't absolutely sure that it would work and the risk would be that I would go out again with a big sense of confidence, bring a few quid and leave with nothing. So I consider my, my score well and truly up and that is me. I'll not even put 2p in a slidey machine in Barry's in Portrush. <laughs> well, the six is? Yeah, well, because you're special and because I like you. Any four squares that touch, they all equal 77. These equal 77. These equal 77. These equal 77. These equal 77. The four in the middle equal 77. And because I like you, Cal, the four corners. 11 plus 47 plus 13 plus 6 all equal 77. I would usually get you to add it up, but I think we've had enough of that. Let's hear for Cal, everyone. Well done, Cal. Thank you very much for being here. Well, I think for me, the, the big challenge is to keep it fresh, you know, um, because my entire act is two hours of you think of something, I tell you what it is. You think of something, I tell you what it is. And if I can't freshen that up, it does start to get really repetitive. So the hard part for me is just keeping it alive. Um, so I think for the, f the, you know, the real fun of it is meeting new people every single time. But do you know the only regret is I wish someone could do it on me. I'd love to know what it felt like to have someone tell me my PIN number. Well, I do know what it's like. My wife knows my pin number but I would love uh, someone to try it on me but sadly no one's able to. I suppose the next step for me is is travel. About a third of my work is in the States now, a third is in Europe and the rest is between the UK and here. So with that travel comes you know a lot of challenges. Uh, I've got a family and two kids um, but uh, but also a huge amount of opportunities as well so I can't wait for another busy year. Yes, the, uh, the last live tour that we did, uh, which ran January to March, was the most successful one we've ever had. Every single seat in every single venue sold out. So uh, next year, early 2016, we're launching it in January. It's going to run January to April this time, a live tour, and it goes literally all across the country. We've added new nights at every venue. Um, so we're playing two and three nights in a lot of venues, and we're doing a big, long, nearly a week's run in Belfast in the MAC. So um, if you visit davidmead.co.uk, we'll be releasing the dates very soon.